This video will show you how to create multiple reference lists in one single Word document with InNote references embedded in it. Here's the document. Let's say this is your chapter one, all got InNote references nicely embedded into it. Here's your chapter two. And let's say here's your chapter three. Now let's say you want to create a reference list for each of these chapters, a separate reference list. At the moment we have the reference list at the very end, one combined reference list. Now to create separate reference lists, firstly go to your EndNote style. So go to Edit, Output Styles. I've created my own style, so you can just click on whatever style you are using and you edit it. This is Benita's style that we currently use and I'm going to edit it. Here is a, a button called Sections and at the moment it says create a complete bibliography at the end of the document, which makes sense. That's what happen what's happening in our Word document at the moment. Click on Create Bibliography for each section. Now remember to save this as a, a copy or a different style. Now go back to your document. Now we have to create our different sections. Here's the end of chapter one and we want a reference list right here. Now go to layout, breaks and here are the section break options. You want to create a new section and we want our new section to start on a new page. Um, so now chapter 2 is our new section, it starts on a new page. Do the same here, at the end of chapter 2 we want to create a reference list. Make it look nice. And again layout, breaks, starting on a new page. So chapter 3 is starting on a new page, it's a new section and we will have our reference list here. Now go to EndNote, update, update citations and bibliography. Remember to change the style to Benita style copy. Remember we saved it as a a different name. Now it will reflect the various reference lists at the end of each chapter. Chapter 3 with its own reference list. Let's look at chapter 1 and here you will also see the reference list.